If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the cheapest and fastest training in Madden 21, guys. Now, I did this video a week ago. Now, my thought process for the year is I might be doing this weekly or every other week because every day I'm being asked, What's cheapest training? Now, I make this video on a Saturday. Within the week, something comes out. Prices of training goes down by four to five coins per. Suddenly, that video is very outdated and it may even hurt people a little bit in terms of like, obviously, that's why in the video I always say, if you're watching this video more than like a day or two old, always just recheck. Like, I give you the formula, just recheck the math just in case because things change daily in Madden, which is why I feel like a, a weekly Sunday or Saturday video might be in line for this type of video. I don't know why I'm doing it today. I'm going to feel it out so you guys feel about it because I've been getting axed all week. I want to power up Bo. I want to power up Rob Woodson. I want to power up Dan Marino. Where's the training? How much should I spend? Is it worth it? So this is what this video is pretty much for. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys, join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been buying for training. But let's get into this. So guys, just one quick advice I can give you guys before we get into this. Remember, the cheapest training isn't always the best training. And I will get into that as we go into the video. But sometimes buying in bulk hurts you. It's kind of like in real life how, you know, the, the price of money is always changing. So $100 today may not be worth the same $100 in, you know, a month or two, depending on the state of the economy or like inflation, deflation. So same thing with training. So again, the issue of buying in bulk sometimes is let's say, let's say you only need 600 training for an ability or a thousand training for ability, but you heard that the best value is Dan Marino. So that's 5,000 training. So you just spent 220 can 500,000, 5,000 training, but then you use it and now you have 4,000 training. Like I'll hold it. But then in like three weeks, a new car comes out and you're like, okay, cool. I, I good thing I have the training. So you power up. So now to power up those car, two cars, it costs you 220K. But at that same time, that Dan Marino not only goes for 140, which means that you lost 80K worth of training, if you understand that. So like, it's always best to buy the training you need, unless you know you're going to be using it all at once. So if you know you're going to use 5K, buy 5K. If you know you're going to use 10K, buy 10K. I'll get into that as we go. But starting with the lowest values here, I'm going to tell you guys, so... The 80 to 80 ones are not great values, guys. Do not touch these because for one specific reason. First off, basically it's a super high right now. And the 80 to 80 ones primarily composed of that. Basically it's a super high because of training being such a thing right now. People all want training. So basically it's have risen. The 80 to 80 ones are always the worst training value. So if they're above 10K, they're almost always a bad value. Now, one really, really good one right now is going to be the 83 overalls. Now, 83 overalls specifically are just a great value just because of the fact that they are able, they're, they're cheap enough price they're good, uh, good price training. You could buy multiples of these. Now, 83s do go for 40, uh, 450 coins. So the thing with the 83s, like Merlin Olsen, you want to be getting the legend ones. The legend 83s are always going to be the cheapest because, again, legend Saturday. And quick advice, guys, to so always follow this up every week. The best time to get training is legend Saturday. Every time. Most of the time. Now, you want to be doing a legend Saturday. Just some quick advice here is, let's say, you know, the, the 83s right here. Let's, let's go. Where were they? 83 Merlin Olsen's are 22K. You filter it out by let's say defensive tackle so you get these Maryland Olsons or you could filter it out by whatever else you think is proper here but what you want to do is just keep refreshing it i like to go like this i like to go to team on the left go over just keep spamming all keep going seeing what pops up again you want to be filtering it out so you can see it and make sure that it does say 59 minutes so what you want to do to make sure that the filters are working is go to over here and go to newest because if it's not 59 then clearly it's oversaturated so you're going to want to change it up a little bit so that you can find the cheapest ones so again, like I said, you can filter it to defensive tackle and so on and so forth right there. So that is where you can go find these 83s to 20K and now you can keep refreshing it over and over again until you find it. Now, again, the current price it's at is going to be a training value of 45 coins per, which is one of the cheapest values in the game right now. Now, guys, here's the thing. There may be a cheaper value as we go up, or in fact, there is. But again, these only go for 450. If you need an X factor of 500, buy these. That's it. Buy these. But if you need some for 5,000, don't buy multiples of these. Buy the bulk. But moving on more so over so the 84s are not a good value but the 85s actually are another great value and it's probably again the legends here so let's go to 85s for legends and it's going to be let's see let's see let's see it's never going to be the base leads right now 85s are going for about let's see oh my god oh my lord there's a lot of 84s so bobby bell let's just say so bobby bell again you want to filter these out because you never really know with these 44k again snipe them out right now bobby bell goes for 44k now it's kind of expensive in comparison to what i did the math on here but 85s are let's see they go for 900 per 
So the formula here is pretty much you take the price of the card, you divide it by their training value. So right now they're 48K, but that's because it's early in the morning. Typically these go for about 45K-ish if you find the right one. So 85 is a good right now. They're not the greatest, but definitely keep on watching them because clearly things are just a bit higher in the morning. But again, remember the formula. You take the price of the card, you divide it by what it quick sells for, and that's going to be the training per. Right now our cheapest one's going to be 83 for about 45 coins per. Next on the list, another great value. Now, well, actually not a great value. 86s are a horrible value. Do not go ahead and look for 86s. 86s are super expensive. I don't know if it's because a lot of them are set pieces or because they were good training at a point. 86s are one of the worst values in this list coming in at 49. So definitely stay away from them. 87s are a slightly better one coming in at 46 per. Now 87s do quick sell uh, for 1800 training. They come around 46 to 48 per depending on the day and the time you find them. Not the best value, but definitely better than the 86s. I definitely recommend you don't mess with the 86s in any way, shape or form. Coming to the 88s though, the 88s are about 120 now. Is that the cheapest one? You can filter it out, you can feel it out. There may be some decent correlates in there, depending on the time, but usually Legends are the cheapest ones. Again, if you could find it for about 120-ish, you're looking at good value. So they go for about 120, and 88s quick sell for 2,500. So do the math for you guys, 120K divided by, I believe it was 2,500, and you're looking at 48 coins per. Eight coins per, now guys, like I said, it's not the best value, but it's one of the better values compared to the other ones. Now, so far, again, we're still working with 45 being our cheapest, but that is a low quantity, so sometimes it's more annoying to buy like that. But here we go to our best, our best, best one, which is going to be the 89s. The 89s, if you can find the right ones at the right times, guys, the 89s are the cheapest ones by a decent margin. So let's go here. Let's try Jerome Bettis, 166K, and they quick sell for 3,600. So 166K divided by 3,600. Let's make sure the math is all correct. So it quick sells for 3,600, and that is 46 points per. Again, early morning. Typically, these are around 44 to 45 points per. So these are by far our best value on this list. It's going to be the 89s. Now, again, on Legend Saturday, you could probably find these for like 150. Now, if you get these for 150 and you divide them by 3,600, you're going to get an amazing value of approximately 41 coins per. So that is why, here's the thing. So on a, on a, on a regular day that's not Legend Saturday, you'll get them right now for around 45 to 48K, uh, 48 coins per. But on Legend Saturday, in the moment, you could probably pick up 41 coins per. Now, it's not the biggest of deals, but if you get a lot of training at a certain time, it could certainly add up. Now, for me personally, that's why I like to get my training on Legend Saturdays. Like before gameplays, I pick up a bulk, I power some players, like I did bow. It's kind of always the move for me there. I don't like to pick up training during weekdays. Now, right now, it's still a decent price, but again, early in the morning, you're gonna want to be filtering these out. Now, the best thing you can do is try to snipe them right now. So to make up for the lack of for the week, during Saturdays, you can just pick up the cheapest one you find for the most part. But during the week, you want to be like this. Just keep filtering by a guy that you see like a Bobby Bell or Jerome Bettis and keep refreshing. Wait for a good price, find a 155, find a 150 find a 160 and then you purchase it from there you never want to buy the base value on a training because you could save you know it doesn't sound like a lot but if, let's say you get him for 10k cheaper then you pick up another training for 10k cheaper then you buy a card and you snipe him for another 10k that's 30k save for the day which makes your training just sound a whole lot better as you save more coins especially when you're no money spent and you're really low on coins and again you're no money spent 150k every coin is mattering here you know you can't just go ahead and just pick it up and be like i still got you know i still got 700k i still got some coins lying around it's not always the case you want to be extra careful with that and then our final training value, which is actually a pretty good one, again, depending on the time of day. And of course, Legend Saturday is just, just the best day for everything. But it's going to be the 90 overall. It's not this Bo Jackson, of course. That's an absurd price, but hold up. Let's come on over to over here and see. So Dan Marino 240. Now, usually Dan Marino's 220. Uh, he's 240 right now, but you can find him for around 220 on Legend Saturday. At this current moment in time, he's 240, which is divided by 5,000 value. And you're going to get 48 coins per. Now, again, like I said, on Legend Saturday, he was 220 most of the day. You divide that by 5,000 training and you get 44 coins per, which would be the best value. So most days, guys, it's going to be the 85s, the not 85s, 89s, and the 90s at the right moment. If not, now, again, you have to find them at the right time because right now, early in the morning, if Dan, Dan Marino fluctuates all day, him and Richard Seymour, you'll find them for 220, 215, then you'll find them for 260. So just make sure you're checking out. You're going to want Dan Marino for around the 220, 230 range to make big good value. 240 is kind of tied for the rest of the guys. So don't buy him here, but again, Sunday, more one of the more dead days of Madden. Not always the best day to buy training, but I'm making it today to give you guys the updated values. But that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's training video. Remember, 81s were a bad value, 86s were a bad value, 88s are bad values. The better ones are 83s, 87s, um, 90s, and of course 89s are some of the better values there. And 82s and 84s weren't even on my list. I just took them out because they. It's always weird. So like if there's 80s and 81s, one of them will always like, you know, like the filters right here. One's always good. Like the 80s will be good, but the 81s won't be good or vice versa. Then the 83s will be good, but the 82s won't be good. And it's always kind of been like that for some reason. 
sometimes. It really just depends. But guys, about it for the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. If you're in the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below what you've been buying for training. Have you been buying Marinos? Have you been buying the tight ends, the legends? Have you been snapping a legend Saturday for them? But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys. Final Monday without football, which is super exciting. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.